Tonight, we get real on being pregnant and single. I have with me in studio guests who will be sharing their stories on how they were able to get past this situation because we do know it takes two to tangle, but unfortunately, sometimes it's the woman who is left raising the child. Welcome to the show. So I'm going to introduce my first guest, who is Alice Mudoni. Alice is a beautician, and she is a single mother. Alice, welcome to the show. And thank you, Tommy. And then we also have Aidan, who has a very interesting story as well. So Aidan is a guy, so clearly he's not a single mom, but he's a father. We're going to get to that. Maybe let's start with Alice. So Alice, you have a child? I do. A boy, girl? She's a girl. How old is your daughter? She's 11 months. So where is your child's father? We broke up some few years ago. After he realized I was pregnant. Guy, how long had you dated? Talk about Manza Kukanisha. Yes. Mm. You were living together. Yes. So, acha to rewind Kidogo. Muli Kutana happy. I love partying. So, I let me hang out in my day. Then the girl approaches me. And then from there, hell broke loose. What do you mean, hell broke loose? Because oh, okay. kwa party. how does hell break loose? Well, we exchanged numbers. Then from there, we started talking on phone. Mm, he used to come to my place, I introduced him to my mom, my bro, my sis. Then from there, we used to go out like oftenly. And from there, now we decided to like, let's make a home. So how long did you guys date before deciding to move in with each other? Okay, one year. A, a whole year? A whole year. And uh, how, old, how old were you then? But then I was 21. And how old was he? He was 23. He was 23 as well. So you guys move in at that time. Are you both working? How are you supporting yourselves? Well, for him, he was working. And again, I hadn't started working. And then now, so you guys have moved in together. Mm -hmm. Then you realize you're pregnant. So what happens? Because at that point, you guys, you are at home. And like you put it, you're in your own home. Just like any other lady. I thought it would be something good. And was the pregnancy planned? It was. To me it was. Because actually, I'm talking about So I had accepted everything. So you say to you it was, it was, but had you guys sat down at the point of living together and agreed we want a child? Uh, for him, I wouldn't say he needed the kid. Okay? He wouldn't. Plus again, you're not in a relationship there well, but you're going to tell your man you must use the protection and yet you're staying together. So, but you hadn't discussed anything to do with family planning. So when the child happened to you, you accepted, but him, how did he react? He stayed for like a week, then he left. So how old is this guy? He's 28. And yourself, you are at what age at this point? I'm 24. And at this point, what's going through your mind? I used to seek advice from those who are older than me. And mostly I used to relate with my mom. I'm sure you, both your parents were aware that you guys were living together. True. And at the point where now he checked out, did you try reaching out to anyone on his side, any relation of his? You see, the problem is he comes from a very well-off family. You see, so you wouldn't go there, love for what Nanza kubishana na mtoto atajiri. Of course, no, it wouldn't work like that. So me, after he left, I took no action. I couldn't go to him at the, this guy has impregnated me. I need him to take responsibilities. Plus again, my mom has taught me how to toil, how to survive on my own without expecting anyone to come and help me. Umesema hawezi kwenda kubishana na mtoto atajiri, lakini mulikuwa munaishi na mtoto atajiri kama bibi na buwana. Question na ye, ya nikuwa hiarietu. So was his family accepting of this? Did his mother know that he's living with a woman as his wife? Now the mom was the major problem. In what way? Okay. She's a nuisance lady. Okay? And a tough one, to be precise. So, my mom and my dad knew that I'm married. But now his parents never knew he had someone. Oh, so you had introduced him to your parents. Exactly. But he had never introduced you to his parents. True. And when you were in the relationship, was that okay with you? It was okay by me, because of course, So me, I took it as part of my being. Yes. 
So he told you that uh, his parents will not accept you and you are like that's fine you didn't want to be given a chance upelekwe wakikukata sawa lakini afadhali umepelekwa kule umewaona wamekuona mimi niko na phobia ya wazazi okay yes niko na phobia so there you are pregnant the guy has checked out during your pregnancy did he reach out at any point there's a time i was going to shop so I was at not to mention the place but it going to get my baby clothes so we met and a chance meeting not planned of course it wasn't planned so i see this girl looks familiar and i'm like hi mike do i know you you see do i know yeah, you yeah do i know you and i was like okay fine maybe i'm mistaken it someone else it's okay then i left how did that make you feel And why didn't he recognize you? I'm used to everything. This is a man you've lived with for two years. You've told us two years. And of together. course he was with girl there. That's why he decided like So he recognized you, but mm-hmm. you're saying because he was with another woman, aliona acha ajifanye ni kama half had to do any. No. And at that point how many months pregnant were you? Five. Five months. And obviously you were showing at that point. Yeah, I was. That must have been very difficult. Not really because uh, I've been raised in a way that I overcome everything. I take life as it is. So at that point were you working? Did you have a job? How are you supporting yourself? Someone would call me, "Alice, come do me my makeup." I let up sakidogo kidogo plus again I had my savings. So then the baby comes at that point the day you the day you gave birth to your daughter. Did you reach out to him? There's a friend of mine called Trisha. Um so he called Trisha kamuliza, "Alice, I'm patam toto." Trisha na Matusi. So already he had acknowledged you were pregnant. Of course. There was a baby coming. Yes. Okay. So Trisha come to Kana. Then the guy went silent. Up to date. Never had anything from him. No. Have you tried reaching out? Why would I? Why would I? Me I never sent him away. He just left on his own. So the same way he left, he's still going to come back. If he came back today, would you accept him back into your life as your man? as your daughter's father yeah. well it's not that easy uh-huh. but somehow i wouldn't deny him the chance to see his daughter okay. and again i wouldn't deprive bunny's her right to know her father you see and what about a relationship with yourself okay well it depends it's not that easy to me because amanda maybe he has his other family out there i don't know and he's not back to me telling me i'm also human I also need a life of my own senior i don't want him to take me back to where i was the same way he left me is the same way he's still going to leave me for another person